Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, November 9th to the 10th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Cancers. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal meeting with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment, Cancer. But first, there's Tara. What's going on with Cancer? Four. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We have the Emperor. Dun, dun, dun. The Ace of Swords. The Hermit. And the Two of Wands. All right, Cancer, let's get this message from Spirit and see what is up for you guys. Navigate your way through the tough times, Cancer, through a different type of lens. Create a new lens from within you, the way that you're seeing a particular circumstance, you've got to create a new perspective. There is a positive in everything, Cancer. Even the toughest of times. They're saying, behold the light within you. There's so much illumination that you have within you, that potential to illuminate all you need to know about whatever circumstance you're going through. That guidance is there. That guidance is you and within you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Six of Wands, you, whatever you're going through, Cancer, you're coming out on the other side victorious. Just know that because this is victory after a battle, okay? People will be looking at you in awe, in awe, with awe. Huh. Somebody is bringing truth and clarity to a situation. We have the Emperor here. Now, the emperor can be, yes, an Aries or a Taurus, but it also is a higher up figure. I don't know why I'm getting judge. This could be a boss. This could be a love interest, but I feel something else. All right, what truth and clarity is this emperor bringing? You're doing a lot of introspection too. Hmm. You have options. Something about this, it, you've got to figure out, you've got options here. Two different paths that you're trying to figure out what you want. What is this? Ooh. The magician. That's manifestation. Knight of Cups, for some of you, this is love. All right, I'm feeling for those of you who this is love, you intuitively knew something was coming towards you. I'm getting that. What else about this emperor? Yeah, see the hair font. That's what I'm saying. There's multiple stories here. Shit. 
So we have the Hierophant. We have the Star and the Queen of Cups. There you are, Cancer. So some of you do have somebody. It could be a Taurus. And we have we have our Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini. We have a lot of the signs here. This could be your your um, a marriage. Maybe that's why I'm seeing a judge. If you're getting married by the justice of the peace. There's some sort of wish taking place, though, that you manifested. You manifested this. You may also feel, for those of you where this is love, that there's a spiritual connection with this emperor slash hierophant. Okay, if this is that other story, I don't know, maybe there isn't, because I did get judged. If this is a judge, what can you tell me about that? What's going on? Yeah, this may be a justice of the peace somehow. It's like somebody that's in authority, but it could be marrying them. This You could marry this person. This is definitely a soulmate from a past life, Cancer. Tell me about this truth and clarity with this Ace of Swords. <laughs> wow, Cancer, Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands. There is a lot of passion here. This person could be at a distance, but you're beginning a new life. You're, I, I feel like this is a second chance at life for you. This is the way that you're seeing it, but there's a lot of passionate communication here. It's moving slowly, but that's okay. It could be an earth sign or a fire sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Beautiful. All right. What is this choice? Two of Wands. Ooh. What is this choice? The Two of Wands. Is it between two people? Oh, the devil. That's Teddy snoring in the background. Is this one choice? Okay. So there's one choice. Wow. Here are your choices. It's funny. This is Taurus and the Hierophant and the Emperor Taurus. So you may have a choice between a Taurus and a Capricorn. Or this doesn't have to be a Capricorn and this doesn't have to be a Taurus. This is somebody who owns their own business, has a lot of stability here, has a lot to offer, right? Appreciates you, I'm getting. And with the Devil card here, this is something that is... You may have a strong sexual connection here, but it could be toxic. It could be toxic. Let's break this down to tell you a little bit about if each of these peeps, if this is your story. All right, tell me about the devil. What is this devil's intention towards cancer? What is this devil's intention? Eight of cups to walk away. What is this king of pentacles intention? Justice. Here we have marriage again. It's like their intention is to give you and offer you balance within your life. This is also karma coming back to you in a good way. They're using their intuition when it comes to you. This could, uh, they could have Libra in their chart. All right. Tell me about this hermit. Yeah, you, you figure out you want to take a leap of faith. Now, who you're going to choose, I don't know. I don't know, but you want to take a leap of faith in, in one direction here. You do make a decision about your future and you choose, okay? So whoop, what is Cancer's advice? Six of Swords. This is moving on to a more peaceful situation. This could literally be moving as well. Yeah. The end of one cycle, the beginning of another. Page of Cups. Huh. 
Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like your advice here is to go with the King of Pentacles because that makes it, it I feel like they're saying match their energy, right? With the Queen of Pentacles, who's very grounded, who's very nurturing in her own right and very intuitive. All right. There's no need for this energy uh, because the stability is already here. One more card for advice. Advice. Yeah, what are you passionate about, okay? Just go. Go. Whatever you're passionate about, whatever is pulling you, you need to go. Death. Something needs to end here. Now, you all have different situations, right? With these two options. I mean, one could be old, one could be new. They both could be new. They both could be old. Um, if one's old and one is new, uh, one of these has to end. One of these relationships has to end. There has to be a decision. All right, Cancer, I hope this resonates with you. I hope it makes sense. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if there is something in here that resonated with you. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video. Have yourself a fabulous day, Cancer, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the dailies. Namaste.